Now let's solve one question from general aptitude section of gate 2020 set to mechanical engineering. Now why I have picked this question because it is highly debated question not because it's a good question it's a very normal easy question but because since official gate keys are not out yet and different sources have given different answers for this question which is very straightforward and simple. So I will totally clear the confusion about this question by the end of this video and I will tell you two ways to solve this question so make sure that you listen both of them okay look the question says that there are five levels P Q R S T in a linear supply chain before a product reaches customers as shown in the figure. So some product is to reach customers and there are five levels P Q R S T as given in the diagram as given in the figure. Okay. Now at each of the five levels the price of the product is increased by 25%. Okay. If the product is produced at level P at the cost of rupees 120 per unit what is the price paid in rupees by the customers. So this product which is reaching the customer initially it is having a cost of rupees 120 initially right only two numbers are given to us 120 and 25 percent. 120 is the initial cost and at each level 25 percent price is increased. So suppose if there was only one level so the price that customer had to pay will be 120 multiplied by 1.25 right. The price will be increased by 25 percent. If there are two levels it will further be multiplied by 1.25 means 1.25 square it will happen. If there were three levels it will be multiplied by 1.25 once more. What I want to say is that you can simply write is 120 multiplied by 1.25 to the power n where n is the number of times the price was increased all right and you get the answer. So basically this question is about determining that how many levels will be there where the price is going to increase. If there are four levels n will be four, if there are five levels n will be five and that exactly is the debate going on whether n will be four or five. All right. Now first approach I will tell you by the normal data what is given in the question and second approach I will give you the logical approach. Look the question says that there are five levels P Q R S T. The question has mentioned that P Q R S T all of them are a level. P is also a level. Q is also a level right. All of them are counted as one level. So level 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. In a linear supply chain product reaches the customer. At each of the five levels means at level P, at level Q, at level R, at S, at T. At each of these levels, P is also a level, it is written here and at each of the five levels, the price of the product is increased by 25%. Means at this level, price is increased by 25%, at this level, at this, at this and at this. This is what the language says, correct? If the product is produced at level P at a cost of Rs 120 per unit, then what is the price paid by the customer? So P is that level where production is happening and it is being produced at a cost of 120 okay at this level now many students are thinking then saying that since it is producing it so at this level production is happening price will not increase it will just send it to q they are considering that this is the part this is the place where it is feeding the product and here the price will start increasing why to think that question has said that there are five levels and at each of the five levels price of the product is increased. It has clearly said that at each five level price is increasing. P is a level. So why price will not increase at P? Clearly language is telling that at P also price will increase. Correct? So value of N will be 5. Answer from this approach will be 366.21. And if I tell you another approach, the logical one, then by that approach notice the difference between the terms price and cost and please recall when I was teaching you industrial engineering in the uh, exergy course I told you the difference between price and cost just recall I told you that price is something at which an object an item is sold 
बट कॉस्ट इज समथिंग विच टेल्स द अमाउंट विच इज स्पेंड इन मेकिंग इन प्रोड्यूसिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर आइटम सो इफ आई हैव दिस मार्कर ऑब्वियसली द इंडस्ट्री विल बी प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस एट सम कॉस्ट राइट यू हैव टू मिनिमाइज द कॉस्ट राइट सो कॉस्ट इज दैट अमाउंट विच इज स्पेंड इन मेकिंग समथिंग नॉट इन सेलिंग सेलिंग इज द प्राइज प्राइज यू नीड टू मैक्सिमाइज राइट इन अ वे यू वॉन्ट दैट द प्रोडक्ट शुड बी एबल टू बी सोल्ड एट हायर प्राइज बट कॉस्ट यू नीड टू मिनिमाइज यू नीड टू मेक इट एट लेसर प्राइस राइट वी डू दिस डिस्कशन इन इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग अबाउट मिनिमाइजिंग द कॉस्ट सो कॉस्ट इज दैट कॉस्ट इज दैट पैरामीटर विच टेल्स द अमाउंट स्पेंड इन मेकिंग समथिंग एंड प्राइज टेल्स द अमाउंट एट विच समथिंग इज सोल्ड now notice the use of words price and cost in this question it says the price of the product here is increased by 25 product is produced at level p at a cost of rupees 120 what is the price paid by the customer so you will see that two terms are used to represent amount price and cost and both of them if you confuse them that they are same you use them interchangeably you do it all together wrong that's not how we do it okay so the price of the product is increased by 25% right at each level and that is why the amount that you will get in the end will tell you the price that customer has to pay because the thing will be sold to customer so the amount that customer has to pay is the same amount at which it is selling the product so that amount is price right so that is what it is saying that what is the price paid by the customer because it is being sold to the customer so the amount is of price is paid by the customer you got that but look here this is cost 120 is the cost of of uh, producing the part at p it is not the price of the product at p so in uh, layman's language what is happening here that p is producing a part by spending rupees 120 per part now why will it send the part to q without adding any profit it is the amount 120 is the cost it is the amount which it is spending in making the part obviously it will increase the price it is doing the manufacturing why it will not increase the price it will take its margin and then it will sell to q and by how much margin it is going to increase that is same for all that is given to us so at p also price will increase that is why you can see it's a general aptitude question also even if the math is confusing you but if these basics of price and cost are clear to you you will be easily sail through this question that is why it is very important that you pay attention in whatever subject that we cover because at some point or the other the knowledge is going to be used the difference between price and cost was taught by me in industrial engineering and if that was in your mind you see general aptitude that's where it is helping you right that is why all subjects interlinked even general aptitude also this year a concept of price and cost will help you in clearing any confusion all right so the answer for this question is going to be this option d here 366.21 n is going to be 5 which ultimately will give you 366.21 this answer all right